For 10% off selected products at spin a disc metal detectors. Use discount code DETECT22 at the checkout. Mary with you shortly. Now, five years ago on a miserable wet day, metal detectorists David Moss and Tom Taylor were about to give up their search in a Conway Valley field when they suddenly hit a contact so clear they had to find out what it was. It turned out to be a hoard of over 2,000 Roman coins hidden for well over a thousand years. Rob Shelley has been to meet the man who found one of Wales's greatest, oldest mysteries. Every century or so, we add a little layer to the soil and things get buried. One very wet day, just like today, five years ago, detectorists David Moss and Tom Taylor were just about to give up searching when, with a beep a bit like a supermarket checkout, there we are, they discovered something that had been hidden maybe 1,600 years ago. I was absolutely soaking. I sort of took a a line towards Tom and I wasn't even metal detecting at this point I was just walking towards him holding my metal detector next to me feeling miserable and wet and all of a sudden I just clipped this target and it made a noise and that noise was a hoard of over 2,000 Roman coins kept safe away from time in a very muddy pot not far from the river Conway so it was declared as treasure uh, wow. this week uh, it's fascinating how cool is that? I mean, is. How, how long have you been detectoring? Uh, so when I, believe it or not, when I actually found that hoard, it was the first farm we actually went to, <laughs> um, which is quite unbelievable. What do you do for a long haul? Now the Romans might have given us concrete, straight roads and a reasonably funny Monty Python film, but it's quite hard to find evidence of the lives that were here 2,000 years ago. But in the suburbs of Prostatin, there's a bathhouse. You have to build it up in your imagination. Ave, Caesar. Question is, quae secreta subterra yacenta, or to put it in English, what mysteries lie hidden beneath the earth? I knew those Latin lessons at school would come in handy sometime. As did the fire at the Black Lion in Llanverti H today, although detectorists like David and his fiancée Maria don't seem to feel rain as much. And even when he's just doing stuff for our cameras today, he still finds things. You can't keep a good detectorist down. Wow. Right then, Sir David, all those bleeps. What was all that about? What have you found? Yeah, so we've just had a musket ball. It's hundreds of years old. And it's a pretty cool find. The coins Tom and David found will hopefully soon be displayed at a museum near you. But as for who hid that Roman fortune... Will we ever truly know, but the story's just fascinating. Who buried the hoards and then left it for... 1600 years. Yeah. It's one of the best detective stories in Wales, that one. Rob Shelley, ITV News, in Conway. How wonderful. And that's what happens when you persevere despite the rain. Well, I've clearly been looking in all the wrong places because I've never stumbled across a Roman treasure. Um, and I certainly I haven't know. used my school Latin quite it's like Rob Shelley has. I know. But apart from all of that, I can.